Alright, here's the follow-up video to the track bar. This is the, uh, the DT Pro Profab track bar. You can see the Heim joint there. It's been on for a while. Haven't had the time to make this video. There's the joints I was working on. All right, now remember, if you don't read into it, you're going to have to fabricate that hole in the frame. It's actually got a spacer that goes inside, and then the bolt will go in to hold that part of the bracket on. Let's see if I can give you a look at the back. Alright, and that bolt you see back there, mine actually cracked there at one point in time and I had to weld it back. Reason being, I actually put the track bar on backwards. I had the Heim joint for some reason on the, uh, the axle side of it instead of the, uh, the bracket on the frame. Pitman arm's kind of in the way. So, uh, don't do what I did. I don't know why I would have put the Heim joint down here. That was stupid of me, but... Alright, one other thing to look out for when you're installing. Right up here, that bolt that you see right there is a pane. It's kind of hard to get to up there right next to the steering shaft, but... I just doubled up on washers to make it fit a little higher. Alright, so that should finish up this track bar. Highly recommend it. I do like that it's adjustable, so no matter what changes with the truck on the suspension, it can be adjusted. And, uh, yeah, good luck.